everybody. Bird season started last Saturday. It's the next Saturday already, so I'm gonna give it a try. I've uh, committed to um, trying to get one with a pellet rifle. <laughs> My brothers, when they were younger, and that's how they got their first birds, and I never, never was able to try it. Uh, so I'm gonna commit this year to at least try and get one. I have a pretty decent pellet rifle. I can show you that in a little bit. It's a 22 caliber. It'll shoot a 22 caliber pellet, uh, 1,000 feet per second. And you can get the specialty pellets uh, to shoot those 1,200 feet per second. So she's got plenty of plenty of pack for that. <clears throat> Trying to get on the highway here. <clears throat> well, I give it a shot, and I'll. Uh, Give you some more footage when I get up to where I can go hunting. Mistake on my part, I, in my haste to try and get out the door, I forgot my hunter orange, so I had to find a place I could grab some. Got a cheap hat and a vest. Yeah, here's one more stop, and I'm on my way to the woods now. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll uh, get some video of me in the woods here eventually. Oh, hit the dirt road. Plenty of them. They're sort of ahead of me on that game, so I gotta give that a shot. Before I drop dead, I wanna be able to say I did that. So, uh, wish me luck. Give me some footage when I can get it. to see a view if I don't get a crack at any. It's one thing that really stinks about being in a wheelchair now. <clears throat> Can't walk and chase the birds, so you got a chance on one side of the road and after that they fly off, you can't go fetch them and try and get them. Plus you have to waste fuel all the time to try and go bird hunting, so I don't know that's why I like deer hunting better, because you find a spot to sit and you just sit. <clears throat> you don't have to waste fuel and Hopefully they come to you with partridge. They drive around everywhere, so you're using gas all the time. And as soon as they take off, you can't go chase them. So kind of sucks, but better than not hunting at all, I guess. Maybe someday I can afford a track chair or something like that. But those are twelve to fifteen thousand dollars for one of those track wheelchairs. <clears throat> I don't really have the money for that. It costs more than the four wheeler does. Sad people take advantage of disabled people and charge outrageous freaking prices for things. Pretty sad, I must say, charge with stuff 
like that. I'm sure it probably don't cost them four or five grand to make that track chair. Apple trees, but I haven't seen any birds yet. Oh, keep trying. Just right across the road in front of me, right up here. A young one. I don't know if I'd shoot it. It's kind of small. But right across the road, right up here, and it right into here. Beautiful out here today. Can't complain about the three moon man out in the middle of the woods trying to be pristine and see somebody moving before I can get away from it. idea is trying to get away from it. Trash and mess and some idiots going to throw stuff in the in the woods. One thing I try to do is.
trees are on the ground and most of the days they're all going to be the same thing on the ground and the tree. That one's on the ground, so I'll keep my eyes on the edges of the road and in the middle of the road all the but boy, you can't never not look in the trees. Crest at the top of this hill, you can see. And down on that next hill on the side. You see way down there on the right. I just saw a car right at the edge. Just as he saw me, freaking ran in. So that shows you what you got to work with. Being <laughs> in a freaking wheelchair or being disabled, they just don't give you any chance at all. So I'm going to try and creep up on that side and see if he's in the woods just a little bit. And maybe I'd take a crack at him, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to film it. And there could be something at the bottom. I, I always notice when you come out crest the bottom of these hills, is usually sometimes there's something right on the bottom of the hill too. So that one was down there a ways. We'll see. That's the problem of hunting around here. They get hunted so much that they just they don't put up with anything. But I'll go up to that woods and look into the tree line and see if I can see one. Look that tree is on the side. It's right in front of it. survive you gotta come in here see something you gotta be out of there. I said he, he did, he was gone. Well I met about five or six four wheelers, a um, bunch of kids on them driving up through here. This is four wheeler trail as well. So someone if they're flying through here that there ain't gonna be many birds and I know it's that's turning into open country up there where they're probably not gonna be any so I just turned around and Slowly head my way back. Sometimes the partridge. Oh, we didn't see him before. So won't hurt. It's, uh, Eleven o'clock now, so we heading back home then anyway. So we'll see what we see, I guess. I'll pull over somewhere and get out of that way. Still on the back of my truck. Might be doing the same thing. <laughs> One of my prior videos. I talk about brush guns. There's a main, there's a lot of just this thick, thick woods. Where you don't need to have some really long range. Because you just don't have a long range unless you're out on an old tote road or you got a field or something somewhere. But a lot of main woods are just this thick. Heading back from where we came now. Maybe a bird will show up, maybe not. But it's usually how it goes. Let your guard down. Assuming that because you've already driven by here, there's not going to be any birds, and all of a sudden they start taking off everywhere. <laughs> It's good to 
with some deer scouting as you're doing your bird hunting. But last year's deer are a year older and changed their ways probably. I go where the food is. Every year seems to be a little bit different. So every time I go bird hunting, I'm always going to get a scope as well. survivors survive for a reason. It's like the big old bucks. You know what they're supposed to do. They do it well. It was the lowest I've ever seen that. Really the whole thing's full of water. Not just this little pond down there. Good drought going on right now. That pond out here, that usually that water's usually right out to that tree line over there. That's not good. The animals be doing all right. Sell some water for the animals. So. Slowly making my way out of here now, and hopefully I can find a bird on the way out on a different route. Out. I don't normally see birds out this way, but. Didn't see any birds out where I normally see birds, so maybe there'll be some up here. What you can do, I guess. Not too here, this has all been washed out before. Pretty much bone dry today. Riley went with his dad today, trying to get a deal with a bow. Today's the first day of archery season, regular archery season. What? Hello, Riff. Vortec. Hot Sun 125. This is Vortex. Like I said, this one's will shoot. Um, thousand feet per second. Look at a Discovery VT scope on it. Real nice scope. Um, just going to take a practice shot, make sure that if I do see something, I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to aim at a butt of a log over here, a bunch of peppings down here, stacked up, so I'm just going to see where I'm going to hit here, just to make sure it's still sighted in. I was putting 10 shots with inside of a nickel at about 35, 40 yards with it when I sighted it in, so we're doing good. Just going to take a shot with it, Let's see what I got. crosshairs were is right where she hit. That's, that's encouraging to I haven't shot this in, since last season probably. I usually tiger bracks in the backyard with this. Um, she's hitting where she's supposed to. Well that's good. This is the gun. It's real nice. Real nice air rifle. Yeah, they cock it by cocking the barrel. It's pretty hard. It's got a lot of power. It's got a this is a piston and not a spring. So you can cock it and leave it cocked for quite a while. It won't ruin any springs or anything like that. I'm trying to get a trying to get a bird with my first bird with an air rifle. Just, the birds aren't cooperating today. <laughs> we'll see. Well, just flushed another partridge, but I was on a hill coming down the saddle like that. Just at the crest of the hill. It was at the bottom of the the saddle on a little log on the edge of the and it rode and it took off. The second I saw it was already in the air. So this area has been hunted pretty hard, I think, and all the young ones are gone and all the smart ones are still around. And that's why they're still around, they're very smart. That's why, you know, <laughs> so hard to get them. There's 
met a guy earlier. He had a shotgun and a dog, and he said he hadn't even seen any. This is the third one I've seen, but they don't even give you any kind of a chance to even stop. They're already gone by the time you see them. They're flying away. I'll keep plugging away at getting out of here. Maybe there'll be a dumb one somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Well, I'm hitting the tire right up here. Gave it a good shot. Almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, saw four birds all together, but every one of them was gone before we could even touch a gun. Here's the tower. So, that's bird hunting as a paraplegic. In a glimpse, anyway. Give it a try. It wasn't the greatest place to go. These birds are hunted so hard that these ones just don't give you a chance. So maybe up by camp, where my camp is, they're maybe a little bit better up that way. Hopefully we'll have to check it out sometime. But uh, appreciate you all watching. And sorry it's kind of boring, but that's how it is when you're disabled trying to hunt. You can't run in after anything. And once they're off the edge of the road, they're gone. These ones are taking up 100 feet before you even get to them, 200 feet. Appreciate you watching and like and subscribe if you would. And uh, here I am, Tower Road, heading home.